Check out OneFIFA.com by using the link in the description down below to get yourself fast and reliable FIFA 14 coins. Also, use discount code PENGUIN5 to get yourself 5% off all your purchases. Alright guys, and welcome to the return of my Road to Retirement series. And as you can see by looking at the squad which is on the screen now, the reason we are bringing back this series is because the legend that is Antonio Di Natale has actually announced his retirement from football at the end of the season. Uh, he has played around 40 games for Italy and over 300 games for Udinese, so really is um, a legend in Italian football. But anyway, for those of you guys that are new to my channel and don't understand the format of this series, basically what we aim to do is get Antonio Di Natale to retire, and in order for him to do that, we need to complete um, a starting 11 and substitute bench with uh, gold Italian players. So in order for us to draft in gold players, what we need to do is play matches, because through playing matches we are then able to open packs at the end of the video. So say we uh, win a match, what we get to do is open um, three gold packs. If we lose or draw a match, we are only able to open two gold packs. And inside those gold packs, if we get 80 rated players or above, we are able to swap that 80 rated player for any Italian player of our choice. So uh, yeah, that is how we bring in the um, Italian players into the squad. And after completing the starting 11 and substitute bench, we are then finally able to let Antonio Di Natale to retire and unfortunately the series will finish. But anyway, kicking off this series and uh, we're actually starting with a full silver Italian squad which will then of course be upgraded and in this first match we come up against um, a pretty bad squad in all fairness. He had one rare goal player which was Colaccini and they're just absolutely terrible chemistry so uh, to be fair, my squad with 100 chem, I did expect to railroad this guy. And as you can see already, uh, only early into the game, we we're already uh, massively on top and completely dominating the match. But in all fairness, after half time, he actually did come out uh, a lot better. As you can see uh, in the previous clip, he actually had a pretty decent effort, which probably should have gone in. But unfortunately for him, didn't. And in reply to that, uh, with the clinical finishing of this squad, I managed to get myself yet another goal. But here we are in the 65th minute, and uh, he is actually only having his first corner of the game there. As you can see, I'd already had six, and uh, it was a pretty easy save for the goalkeeper. But nevertheless, he kept it coming, and uh, crossing it in down the wing, he actually did manage to get his first goal of the game in the 75th minute, with which was only his second shot of the match. But again, in reply to that, a couple of minutes later, Luca Toni, who in this squad was just an absolute animal, scoring, I think, his third goal of the game from a corner. And uh, he is just insane in this squad. He's got very good heading and also his finishing is pretty decent. As you can see here, another example of how powerful he is in the air, getting yet again another header goal to make it 6-1, which actually did uh, bring in the final result of the match. And because we won that, uh, as you can see, Luca Toni as well getting four goals. Di Natale popping in with one, and then our attacking midfielder also getting a goal. And because we did win that match, it does mean we were able to open ourselves uh, three gold premium packs. And remember guys, inside these packs we are looking for uh, 80 rated players or above. So then going into this first one, unfortunately we get uh, probably one of the worst packs you could hope to get. And uh, it was a 78 rated player being the main man, who actually looked like Snape from Harry. Harry Potter. So then going into our second pack and the main person that flashes up is only a 79 rated player but luckily for us we do get an 81 rated non-rare meaning already for the next episode we can draft in one Italian player of our choice. Then finally going into this last pack um, our luck actually does continue and we do get a very nice pull in the 84 rated Samir Nasri meaning uh, for the next episode we can draft in two players of our choice. So uh, anyway guys what I want you to do now is leave in the comment section down below which two players you want me to draft in. Uh, bearing in mind I won't be drafting in uh, Balotelli simply because Luca Toni was incredible in the last game so it would be unjustifiable to bring in another striker. But anyway uh, if you did enjoy this video please do leave a like it shows a lot of support to me and also make sure you do subscribe to this channel for more FIFA 14 videos.